HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by the dentist at Hopkinton. Founded by Dr. Jill Tanzi in 2003, the dentist at Hopkinton provides state-of-the-art dental care in a comfortable and relaxing setting to patients of all ages. They are located at 77 Main Street and online at hopdent.com. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the New England Sports Center. It's Hopkinton Hillers Hockey on HCAM. And today, the visiting Hopkinton Hillers take on the Ashland Clockers. Tom Nappy on the call, Joe Frackleton on camera. Ashland 3-1-1 and one on the season. The Hopkinton Hillers are 6-0-0. Oh oh. It should be a great battle here today. The Hillers have started off the season very strong with six straight wins. They started off with a win over Medfield, took down Bellingham, Westwood, Hudson, and Algonquin, as well as Medway. They also won the Metro West Daily News Cup. The MVP was Sean Walsh. All tournament honors went to Pavit Mira, and Sean Walsh also scored his 100th career point back on December 21st in the 3-1 victory against Westwood. And right now the clockers are lining up as we are just about ready for the national anthem. So we'll send it down to rinkside. We are ready for face-off between the Ashland Clockers and the Hopkinton Hillers. Standing in the center circle, it's Sean Walsh up against Don Boselli. And we are underway here at the New England Sports Center. The Hillers trying to stay undefeated on this season. Into Hillers territory we go. Hamblett gets in there now across towards Boselli. Walsh hits it off the backboards. And now Jack Reardon with a pass around. Caught up to in the corner by Saparoshitz. And the Hillers trying to rush in Ashland territory. Here comes Hamlet with a shot just wide to the right. Jack Reardon with the pass over to the far side towards Matt Milko. And now Hamlet gets tangled up trying to get to it along the near side. Pass over by Aiden Fish. Now into Hiller's territory, there's Sheamus. Hamlet pops it off the boards. Here comes Dan Kirk. Kirk rushing in, looking for a shot contested by a pair of clockers. Now tied up along the near side boards and a backhander there. 
is denied. It was Dan Kirk trying to slip it in past the goaltender, who is Dante Diavanzo, the sophomore for Mike Roman's Ashland Clockers. We'll have a faceoff in Ashland territory. Dan Kirk up against Jack Reap. Behind the net now, trying to send it out was Kirk. Kirk going to bring it around. Taylor's putting some pressure on here in these opening minutes. There's Sheamus sending it over to the far side. Little Quinlan is able to get there. Pavit Miera along the near side corner. And able to slip it out to towards Miro is Quinlan. Off the far side boards towards Manser. Just past McGough, who will send it up the near side. In net for the Hopkinton Hillers is Ray Bailey tonight. And he has defended the net very well this season. Aiden Walsh is going to send it flying around towards the near side. Hiller is in the midst of a change. Here comes Boselli. Boselli rushes in, out in front of the Hiller's net, nearly knocked in on the secondary attempt by the captain, Matt Milko. Milko with possession. Too many Hillers in the area for Milko to get by as Jarrett gets there. And now here's Fish. Fish with the backhanded pass in the Hiller's territory. And Jarrett catches up with it. Jarrett taking it up the near side. Pass ahead into Ashland territory. Here comes Fish. Fish pops it off the boards. Good back and forth battle so far. 11.51 left to go in the first period. And we'll have a change for both sides. On the faceoff, Sean Walsh up against Jack Reap. Pass over by Saparoshitz. Gilbert sends it up the far side. Now towards the corner goes Hamblet. Hamblet trying to get it over to Walsh. Now out in front, wide left on the shot is Kyle Rogers. Here comes Hamblet. Hamblet sends it up towards Saparoshitz. Now across, and there's a shot by Gilbert, wrapped up by Diavanzo. Walsh on the faceoff against Jerron Arms, or excuse me, that was Brett Irwin, the captain. Over towards the near side corner. Jammed up along the boards was Rogers. Gilbert sends it out in front. Walsh nearly popped it in. Walsh from the near side corner, and we get a whistle. We'll have another change for both sides. And on the faceoff will be Dan Kirk and Nick Fish. Jammed up along the corner. Trying to pop it out was Mera. Well, he took a check into the boards. Now back towards the neutral zone. Here comes Fish. And we'll get another whistle here and a faceoff. Offsides is the call. Nick Fish up against Dan Kirk. Hopkinton and Ashland met three times last year. 
The men in the sectional finals, as well as the two times they typically meet during the regular season. The Hillers won two of those three battles, including the sectional finals, as Kirk comes flying in, nearly is able to slip it through. Here comes Milko. And this one's going to be wrapped up by Bailey. We will have a face-off on the Hiller's side. Kirk up against Fish. Along the far side is Quinlan as he pops it up. Pass over by Sheamus. Up with by Moriarty. Now back to the Hiller zone it goes. 9.53 remaining in the first period. We are scoreless between the Hopkinton Hillers and the Ashland Clockers. Here comes Quinlan. That one's set aside by Diavonzo. The Hillers change things up. Mero is trying to slip it through. McFish with possession. Sends it to the neutral zone where Joe Carraza was waiting. There's Barnes, the junior defenseman. Over to the corner it goes. Sabati will send it around. Set out in front, there's a shot, and it's turned away by Diavonzo. That was off the stick of Carraza. Pass up by Terry. Along the near side now. Sent over by Jack Reap for Ashland. Back into the Hiller zone we go. Cam Jarrett sends it. Behind the net, over to Saraza. And that shot turned away from the stick of Reardon. And off of Bailey it goes. Reardon along the far side, sends it flying towards the net, and Bailey will wrap it up. Eight twelve remaining in the first period. And Sean Walsh up against Derek Sheath. Walsh with possession. Sheath takes a knock into the boards, and we get a whistle. And we're going to have a penalty here for a cross check. be against the Hillers. Andrew Gilbert in the box for the next two minutes. So Ashland on the power play. And off the end boards it goes as Rogers races in. And there's a shot turned away from the stick of Rogers. Here comes Ashland, the captain, Matt Milko up the far side. Walsh turns it away. Sending it back up was Irwin. And the puck knocked out of play. We'll have a face-off. One thirty-seven remaining on the Ashland power play. 7.34 left in the first period. Milko sends it up the near side past the reach of Fish. Around the bend it goes. Behind the net is Fish with possession. Now he leaves it for Reardon. Now racing up Boselli. Boselli will meet up with Sheamus. Sheamus and Walsh contesting. Boselli up against Walsh. Sends it to the corner to Milko. 
Now it's jammed up along the far side corner as Sheamus is able to knock it out. Boselli with a shot, just wide to the right it goes. Backhander by Sheamus sends it down. Boselli able to catch up with it for Ashland. Here's Jack Reap. Sends it up to the corner, and Sir will put it around the boards. There's Kirk. Dan Kirk racing up the ice, looking for a shot, and it's just wide to the right. Cam Jarrett sends it up for the Hillers. Well, it looks like Hopkinton's going to successfully burn off the Ashland power play. His time has just expired on the power play for Ashland. Along the far side, Manser trips up, and now Ashland with an opportunity, and that one's turned away by Bailey. That shot was by Jake Caveney, the freshman. Mara sends it across, over to Quinlan. Quinlan back to Kirk. And now getting involved, Derek Sheath. Barnes sends it towards the far side corner where Berman was waiting. Wilco off the near side boards, and now Barnes gonna put it back in Ashland territory. Milko up to McGough. And now here comes Milko. He's trying to work his way around Mara. Mara sends it up. And now sent back down by Sabati. Along the near side now, pass up by Boselli. Getting jammed up along the boards, Weinstock. Pass to Fish. Back and forth we go between these two teams. It's always been a great rivalry between Hopkinton and Ashland on the ice. And we'll have an offsides here. Faceoff comes with 401 left in the first period. Mara up against Boselli. Rogers was trying to turn it around for a shot. Along the corner, Hamlet. Pass up to Walsh, and now Gilbert sends it down. Mara along the corner. Walsh to Mara, there's a shot turned away by Aiden Fish, who got in the way. Back to the blue line to Gilbert. And now to the right circle, lifted up by Hamlet, a little too high there. Mara meets up in the corner with Fish. Another shot turned away. Taylor's putting the pressure on as Gilbert lets that one fly. 3.08 left to go, the Hiller is on the power play. A minute remaining, it was a Ashland penalty. Mara sends it up over to Hamlet. Hamlet back to Mara. There's a shot out in front. Dante Diavanzo staying busy. Over to the near side corner, Hamlet jammed up, sends it around to Rogers. Up to Mara now. Gilbert looking for a shot from the high slot, Walsh. Catches up with it along the near side boards. Sends it across and Diavonzo turns that one away. The Hiller's putting all kinds of pressure on now. Here's Hamlet. 
And that one turned away by Diavonzo. Unbelievable. As much pressure as they can handle on the power play by the Hillers. And the power play has just expired. Mara, Diavonzo turns that one away. Hamblitz sends it over to Mara in the corner. Now up to Walsh. Walsh lets it fly, turned away. Just wide to the right goes Sean Walsh, and now trying to sneak it around was Rogers, and he was turned away. Along the near side corner now, sent off the boards by Fish. And that will be an icing call, we'll have a face off in the Ashland zone with a minute 25 left to go in the first period. Scoreless game so far between the Hillers and the Clockers. The Avanzo forced to wrap that one up. Quick shot there by Kirk. Pass up by Sheamus. Aiden Fish gets there. Now here comes Weinstock. Pops it off the boards towards Sheamus. Sheamus with a shot. And that looked like it went off the stick of Weinstock, which diverted it from the direction of the net. Here comes Ashland. Boselli on a break. Here's Boselli. Looking for the shot, and it's wrapped up. Good save there by Gray Bailey. 47 seconds left to go in the first period. The Hillers with some good pressure, but we are scoreless here at the New England Sports Center. Walsh up against Irwin on the faceoff. Sent over by Fish. Now Milko trying to catch up with it. Barnes sends it up. Here comes Walsh. And it looks like we'll have it offsides here. Got an icing call with 32 seconds left. Walsh in there for the Hillers up against Nick Fish. Along the far side is Fish. Backhanded pass by Jarrett. And Walsh trying to drive down. Here he comes. Sean Walsh getting tied up out in front. And Walsh trying to send it through his legs into the net and sent it into the corner. Walsh jammed up along the far side corner now by Reardon, who escapes with it. And now here comes Milko. And he'll let it fly, and it's wrapped up by Bailey, and that'll do it for the first period. An exciting hockey game so far between these two TVL large rivals. After one, we are scoreless. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by the Dentist at Hopkinton. The Dentist at Hopkinton provides services including comprehensive dental care, same-day crowns, facial aesthetics, periodontal care, cosmetic dentistry, and implant dentistry. The Dentist at Hopkinton is located at 77 Main Street and online at hopdent.com. Welcome back to the New England Sports Center. We are ready for the second period between the Ashland Clockers and the Hopkinton Hillers. We are scoreless as we head into the second frame. Tom Nappy on the call, Joe Frackleton on camera. Hopkinton Hillers, Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. And we are ready to get the second period underway. Walsh. 
Winning the faceoff there as Hamlet will put it into Ashland territory. Up around behind the net now. Boselli tied up with Walsh. Hamlet gets in there. Hamlet tripped up a little bit. And how about that? A goal by Andrew Gilbert, and it's 1 0 Hillers. Andrew Gilbert on the one timer. What a beauty that was. The goal comes 20 seconds in to the second period. Just a perfect shot by the junior, Andrew Gilbert. And the Hillers draw first blood. Sent up the near side by Fish with some authority. Saparoshitz behind the net. Sends it up and there's a shot and that is wrapped up by Gray Bailey off the stick of Jack Reardon. Reardon put some pop into that one. Walsh and Hamblet credited with the assists. Dan Kirk on the faceoff against Nick Fish. Sent around by Manser. Mayor along the far side. Catching up with it is Milko. Sends it down past the reach of Quinlan. Roselli sending it up the boards. Here comes Fish. And that one is going to hit the netting along the ceiling. Out of play it goes. We'll have a face off in the Hiller's defensive end. Kirk up against Irwin. Behind the net is Manser. Kirk sends it over to the near side corner. Sheamus is there. Sheamus able to come out with it. Here comes Mara. Mara flying up the far side. A good move there. A shot turned away. I believe it was Jack Reap who got a piece of it. Up behind the Ashland net now. And Reap sends that one out of play. This faceoff comes with 13.26 left to go in the second period. Joe Carraza in there up against Nick Fish. Make that Jack Reap. Along the corner, pass up by Carraza. There's a shot and a secondary shot, and that's in Aiden Walsh. Cam Jarrett on the initial shot, and then Aiden Walsh pops it in. Two nothing, Hillers. The Hopkinton offense coming alive. That goal comes with 13-11 left in the second period. Two goals within a minute and a half for the Hillers. Walsh up against Boselli. Walsh trying to dig it out. Boselli pops it off the near side boards. Now racing up is Nick Fish, but he won't get there before Quentin Barnes. Pass over to Rogers. Rogers trying to take it up. Cutting him off was Reardon. Reardon sends it over to the far side. Hamblet now gets in there. Hamblet trying to wrap it around. Set back up by Jarrett. And Hamblet was looking for a shot, but was just cut off by Milko. Over to the Hiller's end. Cam Jarrett gets tied up with Fish. And now here comes Walsh. Sean Walsh racing in. Shot goal! The trifecta, three goals to open the second period for the Hillers. 
Sean Walsh with yet another point. Already had his 100th point back on December 21st and a whole lot more since then. That goal comes with 12.21 left. Well, after a pretty back and forth first period, the Hillers trying to take over, and we're going to have a timeout called by the Ashland Clockers. 12.21 left to go. The Hillers three, Ashland nothing. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. My name is Claire. My name is Nina. A gun. I'm Haley. Hi, hi, Davis. Jake. We're the Hiller Volleyball Team. My name is Emma. My name is May. My name is Shelby. My name is Sophie. We're Al and Gal, and we love H Camp. Hey, I want to be, uh, camp. We love H Camp. And I volunteer for H Camp TV. And I watch H Camp TV. And I love H Camp TV. And I love H Camp TV. We love H Camp TV. Each Camp Sports is supported by our viewers and by the Dentist at Hopkinton, founded by Dr. Jill Tanzi in 2003. The Dentist at Hopkinton provides state-of-the-art dental care in a comfortable and relaxing setting to patients of all ages. They are located at 77 Main Street or online at hopdent.com. Three to nothing, Hillers. Ashland called a timeout to try to regroup. McGough up the far side, contested by Kirk. Now Quinlan puts it off the boards. Kirk racing up, trying to catch up with Irwin. Gilbert gets in there. Gilbert had a beauty of a goal to start things off in this second period. And a pretty good shot right there, deflected by a defender. Sent back by Quinlan. Gilbert will send it around. Back to the neutral zone it goes. Gilbert, pass over to Kirk. Quinlan was trying to send it out, a misfire there. Jammed up along the near side corner. Here's Quinlan with it. And that shot turned away off of Nick Sabati. With possession, it's Mara. Sends it over to Kirk. Kirk trying to come around with it, gets knocked down by Sabati. Ashland finally able to clear their zone, but we'll have an icing. 11.04 left to go in the second period. The Hillers starting things off in the second frame fast and furious. Three goals within two and a half minutes. Joe Carraza up against Nick Fish. Fish sends it around. Milko catches up with it. Off the far side board, sent back over by Sheamus. And then Fish gets in there. And now Raza trying to get to it. Aiden Walsh also in there. And it's taken away. There's Carrazzo. That one turned away by Diavonzo. Along the far side now. Here comes Ashland. Getting to it is Manser. Sheamus sends it back towards Manser. Here comes Aiden Walsh. He'll take a hit into the boards from Nick Fish. Past the reach of Cam Jarrett. Into Hiller's territory it goes as both teams in the midst of a change. Jarrett will skate around with it while the Hillers change things up. Just under 10 minutes left to play in the second period. Here comes Hamblet. Hamblet trying to take it away from Boselli. Walsh was trying to sneak it in. Jarrett over to Walsh. 
And now here's a shot, but tripped up was Quentin Barnes. On the near side is Barnes. Sent it briefly over to Walsh, who sends it back, and now Walsh up behind the net. And one will skip forward towards Kyle Rogers. Walsh trying to send it to Hamlet. Barnes to Walsh. Now back to Barnes. That shot from Jarrett turned away. Killer certainly controlling possession. Rogers just wide to the right. Walsh with possession. Leaves it behind for Jarrett. He'll send it around. Walsh out in front and did manage to get a little shot off that was turned away by Diavon Zone. We'll get another icing. 8.24 left to go in the second period. The Hillers up three to nothing. And on the faceoff for Hopkinton is Curtis Terry. There's a shot and a glove save by Diavanzo. It was Jeff Toko unleashing one. Faceoff comes with 8.20 left to go. Up the near side, Gilbert will track it down. Over to the corner it goes. Toko trying to sneak it by. There's a one-timer and a wrap-up by Bailey off the stick of Aiden Fish. I believe that was only Ashland's second shot of the period. Naylor has been dominating possession here in this second frame. Dan Kirk up against Jack Reed. Sent over to the near side corner. The captain, Brett Irwin, trying to catch up with it. And it's sent forward by Quinlan. Now Sabati races into his defensive end. Kirk with a shot, turned away. Jammed up along the corner. Mara able to escape it out, but McGough is there for Ashland. And now he's contested by Kirk with help from Saporoshitz. Here comes Mara. Pavit Mara. And he'll send that out of play off of Milko. Pavit Mayer has been making a lot of noise for the Hillers this season. The freshman earned the all tournament honors in the recent Metro West Daily News Tournament, in which the Hillers able to get revenge on Algonquin, take home the title as that shot's turned away off the stick of Weinstock. Here comes Ashland, Nick Fish. Up the near side, contested by Manser. And now Sheamus. Out in front, that shot turned away from Bailey off the stick of Boselli. Ashland starting to provide a little pressure and somebody out there also has a broken stick. A lot of hard shots in this game so far tonight. Hiller's looking for another one right here. Good attempted feed from Aiden Walsh to Weinstock. And now here comes Carraza. Up along the far side it goes. Sheamus sends it up. Sent forward by Weinstock. There's Carraza. And he'll put that off of Aiden Fish. Carraza and Fish get jammed up. Sent down by Milko. And that'll draw an icing. 6.09 left to go in the second period. Hiller is leading Ashland three to nothing. 
And they're keeping the pressure on. All three of the Hillers' goals came within the first three minutes of the period. Sean Walsh up against Eric Sheaf. Walsh sends that one wide to the left. Hamlet jammed up along the near side, the far side boards. Ashland just trying to get it out of their zone at this point. Having all types of trouble against this Hiller's pressure. Cam Jarrett gets to it. Sends it just past the reach of Hamlet. And we'll have it off sides. Make that an icing call. Walsh up against Fish. There's Hamlet. Driving up with it. Pass over to Rogers. Rogers sends it flying. Was looking for Hamlet there. Turning it around is Reardon. Pass is past the reach of Irwin. And now Jarrett has it. He's looking for Hamlet. Hamlet jammed up along the boards by Irwin. Here's Barnes. Sent down by Sabati back to the neutral zone and now Jarrett responds. Along the near side, Walsh with possession. It was knocked out of his possession by the skater Savati. And we'll get a whistle here as Gilbert catches up with it. Faceoff comes with 4.44 left in the second period. Dan Kirk up against Dick Fish. And Kirk wins that time. Here comes Kirk. Racing up, leaves it out in front. It was a great setup for Mara, but just could not get the shot off. Milko races up the near side. Takes a big hit into the corner. Back to the corner we go, and now the Hillers escape with it. Kirk trying to leave it for Mara. Quinlan to Saparoshitz. Quinlan pops it off the boards to send it back into Ashland territory. Under four minutes left to play in the second period. Saparoshitz racing to the corner. Trying to leave it out, and a goal for Ashland as Nick Fish puts it right through the five hole. An errant pass there by Saparoshitz, and Nick Fish makes him pay. A three to one Hiller's lead. That goal comes with 349 left in the period. Raza sends it towards the far side. Weinstock pops it off the boards. Aiden Walsh trying to turn it around back towards Weinstock. Sent over by Boselli. Manser trying to hang on to it. Well, he's contested by Sheath. And there's another shot wide to the right. Here comes the Hillers. Walsh, shot, glove save. Yvonzo able to wrap that one up. And we'll have a face off with 3.10 left in the period. Well, after a scoreless first period, four goals combined here in the second. Sean Walsh up against Brett Irwin. Rogers trying to sneak that one in. 
Over to Barnes, sends it around. Hamlet back to Walsh. Now Hamlet contested in front of the net by a number of clockers. Jarrett sends it up. Goff knocks it up the near side. Barnes with the pass over to Jarrett. Now Hamlet trying to get to it. Walsh over to Rogers, backhander turned away. Rogers still with possession. Rogers over to Jarrett who is calling for it. And now Barnes unleashes a shot. That's turned away. And here comes Ashland on a break is Irwin. No one there to help him, and Walsh is going to take it away. Good defense there by Camp Jarrett. And now here comes Walsh on a break up the far side shot, and it's wrapped up by Diavonzo. Walsh tried to go five hole with that one, and Diavonzo. Able to hang on to it. And some pushing in front of the Ashland net. Both teams getting a little talking to from the officials. Dan Kirk up against Jack Reap. Kirk wins that one out in front of the net. Quinlan trying to sneak it in and it's turned away. Pressure still on, Kirk puts it back out in front of the net. Quinlan was there, but Diavonzo and Boselli able to knock it away. Out of play it goes, another face off with 141 left to go here in the second period. Dan Kirk up against Nick Fish. Just past Saparoshitz. Pops it off the boards. Great oh. feed to Kirk. Here comes Kirk. Shot turned away. Secondary shot. That's in. Pavit Mera. Makes it four to one, Hillers. The freshman strikes again. The goal comes with 128 left in the second period. Hillers back up by three. Sean Walsh up against Boselli on the faceoff. Set down off the boards by Aiden Fish. Along the near side, here comes Milko. And a glove save there by Bailey. Face off with 109 left, Walsh and Fish. Jammed up along the far side as able to pop it out with a skate was Hamlet. Here comes Rogers. There's a shot and a glove save. Well, Rogers had a nice break there. Got off a good shot. But a nice save by Diavonzo. Sean Walsh up against Irwin, Hamlet. Trying to leave it behind for Sheamus, coming away with it now is Kaveny. He takes a hard hit into the boards. And now Manser. Up along the far side is Hamlet, trying to look for Walsh. Hamlet tied up with Reap. Looks like we'll perhaps have a tripping here. Twenty-four 
24 seconds left. So no penalty on the play. Here comes Barnes. And he'll send that one out of play. 8.9 seconds left. So Carraza up against Fish. On a break here is Milko. Here he comes up the far side, backhander turned away. And then Barnes will put it up the near side as time expires in this second period. The Hillers start off the second, firing in three goals within the first three minutes. And they lead it four to one as we head to the final 15 minutes of regulation. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. HCAM Sports is supported by our viewers and by the Dentist at Hopkinton. The Dentist at Hopkinton provides services including comprehensive dental care, same-day crowns, facial aesthetics, periodontal care, cosmetic dentistry, and implant dentistry. The Dentist at Hopkinton is located at 77 Main Street and online at hopdent.com. Welcome back to the New England Sports Center. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Hockey on HCAM. Tom Nappy on the call, Joe Frackleton on camera. And as we enter the third period, it's a four to one Hillers lead over Ashland. Andrew Gilbert scored within the first 20 seconds of the second period. And then Aiden Walsh would follow up with a goal shortly after that. And then you had Tommy Hamblett make it 3 0 at the time. The lone Ashland goal was from Nick Fish at 349. And then Pavit Mera for the Hillers made it a 4 1 game. As we are underway in the third period, here comes Sean Walsh. Rogers is going to be knocked down along the near side. And we'll get a whistle here. Off in the neutral zone. And offsides call. Walsh up against Roselli. And now here comes Ashland Fish driving up. And that is going to be wrapped up by Gray Bailey. Fish was trying to sneak it right through the five hole there. So Ashland provides the first pressure of the period. Dombo Selly up against Sean Walsh. Walsh wins at that time. Manser sends it over to the far side. Sheamus pops it off the boards. Here comes the Hillers. Walsh racing up. Leaves it behind. There's a shot turned away by Diavonzo. That was Kyle Rogers on the attempt. Now Hamlet trying to pop it in. And he went off the side of the net with it. Rogers able to keep possession for the Hillers. Walsh back to Rogers. A bit of a misfire there as Sheamus sends it around. Jammed up along the corner now. Walsh trying to get in there. Just past the reach of Sheamus and now here comes Fish on a drive. And a nice job by Manser getting in the way of Fish looking for a shot. Jammed up along the corner. Now here comes Walsh. And we're going to have a penalty here. Sean Walsh heading to the box. So Ashland will be on the power play for the next two minutes. And I think the call 
It was a cross check against Walsh. That one's fired up the far side by Hamlet. Yvonzo will gather it up. Leaves it for a fish. On the near side corner. Here comes Ashland, sent over by Boselli. Fish trying to get to it, but Mansur got there first. 125 left on the power play. Jammed up along the corner. And Ehler is contesting well behind the net. Ashland having all kinds of trouble getting it out. Fish sends it around. Sent back up by Manser. Manser backhands it around. Less than a minute left on the power play now. Kirk trying to sneak it from the grasp of Fish. And now it's fired up by, she by Sheamus. Here comes Boselli. Boselli racing in. He was contested by Barnes. Boselli trying to turn it around. Barnes gets the stick in there. Ashley looking for a shot, and it's turned away off the stick of Milko. A nice job by Bailey. Along the near side, sent up top of the circle, and Bailey turns that. Don Boselli shot away. Barnes to Walsh. Walsh was trying to drive it in. Irwin steps in, the power play has expired. 11.02 left to go in the third period. Walsh sends it around. Here he comes, and he's contested. Saparoshitz. Too much traffic in front of the net there. Back to the Hiller zone it goes, and I'll draw the icing. Faceoff comes with 10.40 left to go. Well, certainly a bit of a slower start to this third period than we saw in the second. Where it was just unbelievable pressure by the Hillers. Here comes McGough. Now it's Caveney. Saparoshitz sends it up towards Weinstock. And now Peraza. And we're going to get a whistle here. And it was an offsides call. Hiller is going to switch things up. Check that, an Ashland penalty was the call. Jack McGough in the box. The Hillers have a man advantage. Rogers. Mara. Back to Walsh. Gilbert sends it over to Mara. There's Walsh with a shot from the high slot just wide to the left. Along the near side. Gilbert sends it around. Mara up to Walsh, to Gilbert on the one-timer, and it's in! Andrew Gilbert with a beauty. And Sean Walsh with another point on the assist. Andrew Gilbert has had a couple of unbelievable shots tonight. And he makes it 5-1 to one Hillers. With 9.43 left to go in the third. Whew. 
Saparoshit sends it down. Set around by Moore. Along the near side, pass Saparoshit. There to back him up is Berman. Now along the far side. Racing in was Moore. Moore behind the net. Up the near side comes Ashlyn as Haveny trying to take it down and this one's gonna go off the roof out of play. We'll have a face off with 9.01 left to go in the game. Well, the Hillers started off this season with six wins, looking for win number seven here tonight. Mara over to Kirk. Kirk's gonna take it to the corner. Trying to leave it out in front. Rogers contested by Fish, and here comes Ashlyn. Fish up the near side. He gives it behind for Sabati, who's contested. Mara able to get it back for the Hillers. This fire there, sent around by Fish. Noko tied up in the corner. Just past the reach of Mara. And now Sheamus will take his time getting to it. Up the near side he goes. Sheamus off of Mara. That was popped off of Kirk from Milko. Here comes Quinlan. Quinlan working up the ice. It takes a shot, a little wide to the left and turned away by Diavonzo. Offsides call here with 7.45 left. Aiden Fish heading to the box for Ashland. So the Hillers will have the man advantage once again. Walsh, Gilbert. Here's a shot turned away. Mara was looking for Rogers. Here's Gilbert. Turned away by Devonzo. Sent up by Irwin. Gilbert looking for a hat trick tonight. Walsh taking his time with it. Sends it over. Here comes Gilbert. Racing around. Gilbert looking for his opportunity, gets it over to Mara. Out in front, Hambly was trying to get to it. And he was boxed out. Back to Hopkinton territory we go. Gilbert leaves it for Walsh. Here goes Walsh, flying up the far side. Racing around, into the corner, back to Gilbert. Now Walsh sends it across, over to Mara. Gilbert now. Gilbert and Mara playing keep away. Rogers. Along the corner, Hamblet. Hamlet trying to sneak it in and does. A backhander right through the five hole. Six one Hillers. Tommy Hamlet with a beauty there. And the Hillers are in control with 6.06 left to play in the third period. Up 
Up the far side goes Aiden Walsh. Chris Moriarty sends it over. Here comes Ashland. Good stick moves there by Milko. Rosenau. Over to the far side. Set down by Aiden Walsh. Manser racing up the ice. He was quickly cut off. Milko sends it around. The Hillers really just out, just out playing Ashland from a physical standpoint. Just continuous pressure throughout the last two periods. Here comes Boselli. He was cut off by Manser. Good defensive work by the freshman. Off the near side boards. Milko will send it up. That'll draw a whistle. Less than five minutes left to go. A six to one lead for the Hillers. 4.55 left in the game. Curtis Terry up against Brett Irwin. Gilbert sends it over to Reese Griffiths. And up behind the net is Terry. Terry squirts it out towards Moore. Here comes Ashland. Cut off by Toko. Toko going to try to play keep away with it. There's a shot turned away by Bailey. Goes off the stick of Jack Reap. And another good save there by Bailey. Along the far side, Moore. Squirts it up into the near side corner towards Toko. Toko jammed up. And now sent back down towards Quinlan. Tracking it down for Ashland was Palanzi. And up the far side it goes, and we have a whistle. 3.45 left to go. And we'll have a Hiller's penalty here on Dan Kirk. So Ashland will have the man advantage for the next two minutes. So the Hillers will get some more practice against the power play here. Wrapped up by Bailey. Busy schedule coming up for the Hillers. After this game, they'll be at Norwood on Wednesday, Dover Sherborne next Saturday, and then at Holliston after that. And then they have another date with Ashland, this time on the Hillers home rink. Along the near side, Berman sends it around. Here comes Ashland and Milko trying to race up the far side. Saparoshitz tried to send it up and accidentally put it off of Irwin. And Irwin gets a shot off there, but it's just wide, turned away. Fish will track it down. Approaching a minute left on the Ashland power play. Here comes Fish. Racing up. And a nice job by Berman getting a stick in there. Mara trying to send it up. Here comes Saparoshitz, and he'll wrap it around. Sent over to the far side, taken by Saraza, and that is turned away by Diavonzo. Aiden Walsh sends it back. A shot from the slot a little high there by Barnes. 
25 seconds left on the Ashland power play. And Barnes was tripped up by Milko. Milko sends it over to Fish. And we'll get another whistle with 157 left, and it looks like another penalty. Quinton Barnes sent to the box. So Ashland will have a two-man advantage for the next 13 seconds. And then finish out the game on the power play. So it'll be five on three for the next 13 seconds. Curtis Terry up against Jack Reed. Sent up by Weinstock. Nice effort there by the senior. And now it's going to be five on four as one of the power plays expires. Here comes Boselli. Along the near side. He's tied up. There's Cam Jarrett getting in there for the Hillers. Here comes Milko racing out with it, but cutting him off was Terry. A minute 12 left to go in the game. Fish gets wrapped up with Jarrett. And Weinstock races in there. And we'll have an offsides call here. One minute left to go in this game between the Hillers and the Clockers. The Hopkinton Hillers will be moving on to 7 and 0 overall. Well, Ashland will fall to 3 2 and 1. Along the near side, here's Carraza. There's a nice shot there, and it's wrapped up by Diavanzo. Faceoff comes with 46 seconds left. Along the air side. Raza was trying to get in there and take it away. And off of Mansur goes Caveney. Mansur sends it over. Off the boards goes Sheamus, and that'll burn some good time off the clock in this remaining 20 seconds or so. Aiden Walsh sends it back. There's a shot turned away. Now Saraza on the shot. And that is going to do it. The Hopkinton Hillers take the victory over the Ashland Clockers, six to one. Hopkinton now 7-0 oh, and 0 oh on the season. Ashland falls to three wins, two losses, and a tie. Another great effort by this Hopkinton Hillers team that has started off this season just red hot, improving to 7-0 and oh overall as they get the 6-1 victory over the Ashland Clockers. For Joe Frackleton on camera, I'm Tom Nappy, and you have been watching Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. The final score for the final time. The Hillers defeat Ashland 6-1. Take care, enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll talk to you again soon.